Greetings to both new and returning IT enthusiasts. Certification Synergy is excited to introduce yet another comprehensive IT training course just for you. Whether you are continuing with us after moving on from our CompTIA at Plus Core 1 training, or you are discovering us for the first time, welcome to Certification Synergy. By clicking on this video, you've unlocked access to our complete CompTIA at Plus Core 2 training course. And the best part? It's absolutely free. That's right. This full-length course won't cost you a dime. No hidden fees, no additional content charges, just pure, focused knowledge designed to prepare you thoroughly for the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 certification exam. With that in mind, we're thrilled that you've chosen us to be your guide as you prepare for the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 certification exam. We truly appreciate the chance to share our expertise with you. And just to reiterate, in case you missed it earlier, this comprehensive training course is entirely free and self-paced, available for everyone's benefit. So what makes Certification Synergy the best IT training in town? Well, besides our strategic and orderly presentation of exam topics, we make learning feel like a walk in the park. You can expect to learn from vivid, comprehensible video segments, all seasoned with a dash of humor, to keep the experience lively. This course isn't just a learning pathway, it's a guided experience. If you are still listening, it is now time to jump right in and discuss what this certification is all about. You might be wondering if this is the course for you. If so, ask yourself, do I have a solid grasp of IT basics, presumably from the CompTIA ITF Plus certification or similar experience? If you answered, yes, then you are definitely in the right place. Additionally, though it is not required, you may find your journey a bit easier if you complete our A-plus Core 1 training before attempting this course. This is because many of the A-plus Core 2 topics assume prior knowledge and build upon Core 1 topics. So how do you become CompTIA A-plus certified? And what do I mean by Core 1 and Core 2? It is important to know that this widely recognized credential requires you to successfully pass two separate exams, known as the Core 1 and the Core 2 exams. Each of these exams covers distinct yet complementary domains of IT knowledge. Core 1 focuses on the essentials of hardware and networking, while Core 2 dives deeper into operating systems, security, software applications, and operational procedures. Together, these exams validate the dual spectrum of practical and theoretical expertise that is essential for entry-level IT professionals. Achieving a passing score on both exams is a necessary component to obtaining the CompTIA A Plus certification. As for this course, I will be covering every topic needed to pass the Core 2 part of this two-headed certification beast. Taking a step back, let's understand the overall path to IT foundational mastery. Ideally, you've either earned your CompTIA ITF Plus certification or you've acquired comparable foundational IT skills, which has prepared you for this rigorous A plus certification. As your guide and educator for this A plus Core 2 exam, I will do my best to help you build upon your already strong foundational knowledge, equipping you with the expertise needed to tackle and succeed in subsequent certifications, such as the CompTIA Network Plus and the CompTIA Security Plus. This course is designed to be a stepping stone, helping you to grow, while progressively expanding on your IT capabilities. Next, you need to know what IT concepts will be taught in this course. The CompTIA A Plus Core 2 certification exam focuses on the essential IT skills and knowledge needed to complete tasks commonly performed by entry-level IT professionals. To pass, you will need to have the knowledge and skills required to understand operating systems, security concepts, software applications, and operational procedures. Additionally, this exam will assess your knowledge of troubleshooting scenarios related to these topics. Now the current version of the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 certification exam, designated as 220-1102, was launched in April of 2022. The exam consists of 90 multiple-choice and performance-based questions, lovingly referred to as PBQs, that must be completed in 90 minutes and the passing score is 700 on a scale of 900. Now the scoring system can be a bit confusing, so I will give you a breakdown that works well for us here at Certification Synergy. If you score below 500, you have some more studying to do. If you score between 500 and 699, 
you knew more than half the content and just need a bit more understanding to get you across the finish line. Score between 700 and 749, and you knew about two-thirds to three-quarters of the content and you will have passed. With a score of 750 to 799, you knew most of the exam content. Go above 800 and you can tell everyone you crushed it. Anyone scoring 800 plus on a CompTIA exam should be very proud of their accomplishment. If you get a perfect 900 score, contact us immediately, we want to hire you. Okay not really. But know this. Even seasoned veterans tend to score in the low to mid 800 range. I hope you find this scoring breakdown helpful when evaluating your exam results. Now we need to discuss the heart of this exam. The exam objectives. For those of you who watched our ITF Plus or A Plus Core 1 training course videos, you will surely remember that the exam objectives are a document that outlines the parameters for studying for and eventually taking a certification exam. It will include exam items like How many questions? The question format or what type of questions you will be asked. And the requirements to pass the exam. The exam objectives will also outline the topics you will be tested on. At the highest level, the exam is broken into domains. The domains for the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 exam, 220-1102, are shown here with a percentage value next to them. The percentage refers to how many questions can be expected from each domain when you take your exam. Each domain is then broken into exam objectives. Here we can see the first domain for the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 certification exam is operating systems, and the first exam objective in this domain is identify basic features of Microsoft Windows editions. Within this exam objective are the exam topics. Exam objective 1.1 starts with topics focused on Windows 10 editions. Don't worry if you do not understand some of these topics yet, as this is the reason for this course. So why have I spent so much time breaking down the exam objectives? That is because they are super important and often overlooked. The exam objectives are a roadmap to success. They provide a clear path of what to study and keep you on track. Additionally, once you have completed this training course, the exam objectives should act as a final checklist. Taking one last look at the official exam objectives before attempting the certification exam will help focus your thoughts and point you in the direction of any additional study you may need. To download the exam objectives, you can visit the CompTIA A Plus Core 2 product page on our Certification Synergy website. I will also provide a link in the description section of this video and in the comments. Now, as you continue with this training course, I encourage you to watch each video segment as many times as you need to master the topics. Go as fast or as slow as you want. It would also be a great idea to subscribe now, making it easier to find us later. We are always producing new free content and I would hate for you to miss out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.